What's this thing on? Hello everybody and welcome to another Skyblock with TechnoJock. I'm here not doing what I said I was going to do, or actually doing what I said I was going to do in between episodes. I got really bored manually making these blank slates, so I have decided to automate it to a certain degree. And it's raining again. So we've got another mob spawner thing up here, and it's wirelessly controlled with the redstone wireless thingy, and a test rat here, and it's a witch spawner that we're doing here because, well, why not? We do need spider's eyes, so um, why not? Although, ultimately, that's going to take care of our spider eye problem, but uh, in any case, this is what we're doing. So basic, very basic automation. I've just managed to get it going at the moment. So I've got a chest with the arcane stone blocks in it there, which we're going to be using for making these blank slates. And they are being fed into there at the moment. So we've got 14 so far. That's all going nicely. Um, so we've just got this set up with some impulse item ducts. We've got a servo pulling things out. It's just pulling out arcane stone and it is filtered to only allow one in at a time and set to not allow oversending and then this is set then to pull out anything uh, anything at the moment but the filter on this end is only allowing blank slates in and it will only allow up to a stack of slates in so that's what's happening there but we've run out of blood at the moment. So let's get this going just now and we'll just get everything sorted out. This should be pretty fast at doing all this sort of stuff because we've got um, an octadic capacitor in there. Oh, no, that's not collecting at the moment. Let's put our collector on now that we've stopped um, destroying blocks here. Let's pop this on the top here. And now if I go like that and like that like that. There we go. We get rid of all that. And these should now all get happily picked up. Perfect. So we can just stand here and do this. And it is now filling that up quite nicely. Excellent. So I shall probably very soon start tearing down the mob tower because we really don't need it anymore. And it is a massive carbuncle. So yeah, there we go. So that's going to get us these slates very quickly. When I was taking these blood runes out, I accidentally lost four of them. They were hoovered up by the, the, uh, the system and it, uh, it binned them, which is a little bit unfortunate. But bearing in mind, we've now pretty much automated the system um, for the time being for the blank slates. We're probably okay just now. So we're getting plenty of these slates in. That's pretty good. I'm liking this just now. So um, things are going okay just now. So we were wanting... Where are we wanting, actually? We were needing blank slates and stuff for something over here. This is going okay just now. This is misbehaving a little bit earlier on, but... Uh, it's because we ran out of wood and it was trying to pick up wood and place wood and not perfectly honest and really know what it was doing. Um, but everything seems to be playing with the rules okay at the moment. Okay, we're out of oak here. Um, I suspect that we've probably got some in here. Yeah, but it is going to run out soon. So. I need to try and figure out exactly what I was doing. Never fear, I remembered what we were wanting to make. It was going to be the teleposition focus and teleposer from Blood Magic. Uh, because we want to transport that node up from the bottom. Um, let's do this and let's get as many of these. So we got 23 blood runes, so that's good. Um, we've got, uh, I shouldn't have been using the earth shards, we've got plenty of entropy ones that I've just done. Right, let's go and make this into a tier 2 and possibly even a tier 3 blood altar, I think we could probably do. Let's get um, glowstone blocks, four of, like that, um, and we better get some building blocks of some description, so we'll grab 
what will we grab? Mm, we'll just grab our old friend, the cobble, will we? Let's go back over here. And we'll be able to make this into a tier 2 straight away by doing that. That's that one there. So if we go that, that, like that. I don't have my thingy bob on me that tells me what it is. My divination sigil. Let's grab the divination sigil from wherever it resides. Should have grabbed that a second ago. One of these days I'm going to make myself a wireless transmitter thing. Divination sigil, thank you. Let's grab... No. Blood altar. Tier 2. Perfect. Right, so we need to come down and out. And it'll be long like this. Oops. Oh, one, two, three, four. Don't know why I've still got this under here, but never mind. One, two, three. So we need one there and one there. I'll pop that, that there as well. That goes there. One, two, three, four, five. And that goes there. That goes there. And we got one, two. So we need a further three to make this into a tier three altar. I should have sufficient with this. Head on over. And I'll use... Where's my blood orb? There it is. And I want a shard as well. And I'm going to use the entropy shards because they are by far away the easiest to get hold of. Right, cool. Let's take that out of there, cancel that, back over there, and that'll give us what we require. Oh, I'm going to have a spare one as well. There. Cool. Right, now that comes up like that, and we've got that there. Um, it's that one there, and that one, that one there. Is it? Yep, and that one. And that one there. And that one, that should be it. Tier 3. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so I really would like to get some runes of sacrifice, but that requires tier 3 runes. And that requires imbued slates, which require reinforced slates. But that's good. Um, right, so... We've got how many arcane stone have we got left in there? Oh, we've plenty of arcane stone left in there. Excellent. Well, let's get some runes. Let's get this going. Oh. There we go. Get rid of that. Um. So let's get some of these runes going. Uh, of sacrifice. So we need. It needs two blood runes, it needs four blank slates, and a fifth blank slate turned into a reinforced and then an imbued. And it needs two daggers of sacrifice. For each one, yikes. Guess what I am doing. Right, 
So, I need to do this and get these things. And I'm also wanting then to take these and put them into. Ooh, no. Okay. That's what I'll do. That's fine. It'll start doing that anyway. Yeah. We'll be good in a second. Right. See you in a moment. Right, it's been a while, and we've got a good amount of stuff done. Um, as you can see, I've got runes of sacrifice. I've got five of them there, and I've got some more speed runes, and I have got the four speed runes there. Things are going quite well here, um, but I've had to do quite a bit of thorn crafty stuff. Now, this is all now researched up. And I have researched a fair bit of the other things. This is all opened up to us now as well. So we've got the stuff ready for the node. I've done all this research. So we've got the um, stabilizer and the advanced node stabilizer. So we're ready for that when we get to that point. Um, and we've got the, the um, node transducer. So that big fat terra node down there is going to be very helpful for us. Now, one of the things that I had noticed was, for this master blood orb, we need an eldritch eye. Um, and the only places that I know of to get those from are rare drops from the crimson cultists, which you'll note that there is a severe lack of around here, or the guardians that appear when um, there's um, one of those obelisks open. Now, they also sometimes appear when you um, get like a, a bad taint. Um, let's make it a noise. When you get a bad taint reaction from doing forbidden knowledge stuff. So, I have done a fair bit. I need to get this stuff. I've done a fair bit of this forbidden knowledge uh, research. And we have got the Eldritch tab now open. I should probably... Uh, we need to get some of these things. I need... What's that? I need most of those. I don't have hardly any of them. Um, so, yeah, that's been open. And I've been munching on brains just whenever I can. Yeah, we've got more warp. So, I'm just getting up as much warp as I can at the moment to try and force one of those guardians to appear and then I will capture him in a soul vial um, and then we'll spawn them, we'll swap out the witches for these guardians. I'll move the witches over and we'll use them in the spawn over there run the spiders because um, that would be better than the spiders I think. But um, In any case, yes, I want to be able to start spawning these cultist things and that would be the best thing for us at the moment. Uh, but I'm kind of stuck until such times as I get one of those to appear. So I'm just kind of hanging about and eating brains and waiting for one of them to appear. So um, I'll try and come back when we get one of those encounters. Here we go. Got one. Excellent. No. There we go, perfect. Whew. I think that might be the only ones that are going to spawn, but that's excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. And as you can see, I was taking the opportunity whilst I was waiting to tear down what's what was our mob spawner. Um, and what still will be if I'm not very careful up here. So um, let's get rid of that spawnable spot. And let's head on down. Hopefully this mist should disappear at some point soon, and I will need another um, another thingy. Um, one of these, that's what I was looking for. That's the spider one, I'm not going to be using the spider one anymore, am I? Um, yeah, that one's for a spider. Let's grab that. Oh, oh dear, I nearly dropped it because I don't have any space in my inventory left. Uh, 
I don't need that. Perfect. Right. Let's drop down. Well, that's a bit psychedelic. Right, anyway. Let's get rid of that, that, those, that. Oh, I think there's going to be more of them. Yep. I waited half an hour for one. And then... I get it twice in a row. Right. Let's uh, chop you up, mate. Excellent. That's fine. Um, and I'm going to get rid of... What am I going to get rid of? It's those speed runes. And can you get rid of that? So we've got a powered spawner and we've got our soul vial. Do I just need to do this? Powered spawner, soul vial. No. No, I need to get the broken some dark steel, and I don't think I have any. No, I do not. Right, I need some iron, obsidian, and silicon, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's have a look. See, broken spawner. Broken spawner, dark iron, dark steel, iron, obsidian, and coal. So, iron... Not a problem. Obsidian. Not a problem. And coal. Cool. Let's do a fair whack of that. Let's get that started up. I'll be back in a moment. Right, we're back. And we are killing these things quite happily at the moment. One of the things I didn't really bank on was, of course, the mist that they sometimes put out. Um, and the annoying noise. So the sound muffler's there, but it's still a little bit... Still a little bit irritating. Got to say. Uh, but we are going quite well on this. Got quite a lot. I've already dumped my levels once. And we're already up to 33 levels. Um, and I've done this. I've done the same thing as I did over at the um, other killing area. We've got an ender chest that um, has got an ender collector on top of it, and the ender collector is, is set to be filtered for just the, the essences. So you can see them flashing through there. So we have got a second way of getting all these. Let's see how bad this mist is. It's not too bad, actually, I don't think, at the moment. It's a bit dark over here, because it's just... Yeah, actually, we might be okay this far out. We do have a wisp on the loose. Yeah, we've still got wisps coming out of that thing, but um, not too badly. Um, one thing that did happen was I lost my crossbow and my bolts. Don't ask me how I managed both, but yeah, they, they disappeared into the void. So I do need something to get rid of something like that. But what I might do is... I might invest in something like uh, shock. Uh, I don't seem to ha be able to make that, so how can I make these? Hmm. Not altogether sure. Or I might have to make another bow. We shall see. But really, what I need to do is I need to get these eldritch eyes, which I'm just going to have to get on and do. I'm just going to have to hack away at these guys. We'll pick up the essence, but the um, Eldritch Eyes shouldn't be picked up and they shall pop into my inventory. Um, hello, Mr. Creeper. Yep. And um, yeah, I'm just going to have to keep on doing this until I get some Eldritch Eyes. Um, so... I'm going to carry on and do that, and we'll call this an episode for the moment. Um, and when I next see you, I'll have some Eldritch Eyes to be able to make the next tier of Blood Orb, which means we can then get up to the next tier of Blood Altar. And that means we'll be able to start making things like the Teleposition Focus and stuff like that. And we should be in a good 
good spot at that point and who knows we might even manage to get on to automating that thormium sometime soon as well if these have got a decent supply of the precantatio essence we're still a bit low on that coming through and um, so yeah we'll need to sort something out about that but until the next time everybody bye bye and have a funs